Hey guys, today I have a flip through and review for you of Discovering Design with Chemistry by Bereen Builders. So this is a high school chemistry course. It does have a prerequisite of Algebra 1 because it's at that like college preparatory level and it is a Christian curriculum. My oldest son recently completed it and so I thought I'd give you a look and review of it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see all the different components and I'll come back here and share my thoughts on it. So here is what the main textbook or student book looks like. It is a hardcover. It is quite thick. It's about 550 pages and it is written by Dr. J.L. Wiley who wrote a lot of apologias material before he, I guess, started his own company which is Brain Builders and started to write for them. Inside you have the periodic table of the elements as well as the elements ordered by their chemical symbols. Then it jumps into the intro about the course as well as how to use this book. So there's 16 modules. I believe they say it takes about two weeks to complete each module. There is a schedule I'll show you in the back which you can follow if you're interested. Talks about experiments and activities. There is uh, 46 experiments, I believe, if I remember right, in this book. They sell the lab kit. We did not buy that, but you can purchase the lab kit. And it says if you can't purchase this kit, you can still do 27 of the experiments. Of course, you can always collect things on your own as well. It's giving you other materials that you need for the experiments. Broken down by chapter or unit talking about technology. The course website offers some extra information which I'll share. Question and answer, you can email the person who created the book. And then here is the table of contents. So the first chapter is measuring up, then what's the matter? Making sense of atoms and elements, the modern view of atoms and their chemistry covalent compounds and their molecular geometry, physical and chemical change. Oh, stoichiometry, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Still more on what I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Chemists have solutions. It's a gas. Some pretty basic and acidic chemicals, reduction and oxidization. The heat is on thermodynamics. Kinetics and chemical equilibrium. And then there's appendixes, glossary, photo credits, and index. So let me show you what a chapter looks like. So this is the first page saying, go read the introduction if you haven't yet. So you can see that there's like underlined words. There's words that are in bold. Now anything that is in these little pink boxes, the student is encouraged to memorize as you go through it. And then these are comprehension checks for their writing questions. So again, memorize this comprehension check. Here's an example. So it's very um, visually separate on what you need to do and what you're trying to do in that part of the book. Here's an experiment. So that is the green. Again, need to memorize that. I'll just show you all the way through here what a unit kind of looks like. So this is all still unit one. Sample calculations. This is the review that the student's going to do at the end of the chapter before they do their test. And then you're moving on to the next unit or next chapter. So I'll give you a quick flip through here. It's a very thick book, but it's, it's pretty similar. There's not a whole lot of pictures or images. There are some, but it is primarily writing. Sorry for the rooster, you guys. <laughs> if you've been around a while, you know, anytime I try to film, the roosters decide to make noise. So let's show you at the back here. So let's 
16. So here's the appendixes. Review. Okay, so Appendix A is tables and mathematical formulas. So you can see all these different things to help you in the formulas. Appendix B is the schedule. So they break it up into week and they give you a little like a checkbox of what you need to do. This is the schedule that my son followed. And it does say the owner is free to copy this page. Let's see here. So that's divided into 36 weeks. Appendix C is doing experiments without the kit. It gives you some ideas of what you can replace things with. And then we'll move into yeah, the glossaries next. So those words that were in bold are back here. And then we have the index and the image credits. And at the very back here, we have some more things that you're going to need, charts and things that you may need to refer to through the course. So that is the main book. This is what you need to do the course. So now let me show you. This is, just like it says, the answer key and the test. So this is the second book that if your child's doing the test, which is highly recommended with this course, this is the book that you need. It's pretty um, straightforward, table of contents. Now, the course does have semester one and semester two final exam. And it talks a little bit in the book about that that's really up to you whether you want to have your child use that or not, that in the college or university setting, they're going to be doing final exams and so it's a good way to prep the child but it's not necessarily required for the course. So there's the introduction. It gives you information on how to mark and things like what I just said. Information about the experiments and how to mark them. Course website. So there is a little bit more on the website. How to calculate the final grade if you're going to divide up between the tests as well as um, a lab grade. Then it has solutions to the reviews that are at the end of each chapter and it really goes into great detail about how to answer each question which for me was a very big deal. Then there's the actual test and you are free to photocopy this page. So here's the test and then right here is the solution and it tells you exactly how many points to give for each one. And it will also tell you if they've missed something like here. So you get two points. It tells you how to mark it. Like if they didn't get a certain part to take one off or half off, same down here. So it's very, very clear in the marking. And it just continues through all of the uh, reviews, the tests, and the solutions are in here as well for those uh, semester reviews as well or semester exams. So that's this book here. So there are a few other options that you can purchase to like add on to the course. There's that kit that I mentioned that has all the experiment stuff. There's also the book can come in audio form. You can buy like a little USB or you can digitally download it. That's I think 20 to $30 depending on what option you choose. And I'm talking in Canadian dollars because I am Canadian. The books themselves I looked it up just before filming because I was curious what the price was and it was, depending where you buy it from, like $130 to $150 and I was surprised because I didn't remember paying that much money. So I went back and looked and yeah, last year I paid just over $110. So I'm not sure if the price has just gone up or what, um, but it seems to be a little more expensive now. There's also what I did not know about. There's a free printable student notebook. And when I saw that today, I was like, oh, how did we miss that? So I went back and looked through the answer book and the textbook and there's no mention of it. So I went on the website and it does say you can download it, that they do provide it. However, that they feel that students will get better value by writing the questions and the answers out themselves. And that's why they don't really advertise it, but it is there if you want to download it. I think, um, 
I think I probably would have <laughs> just to make it easier for my son, but it's an option. They also do offer, they, I think they're, I don't think they're live classes. I think they're recorded classes for like each chapter, but I did find out how much is that? 99 US for the year. So 130 ish Canadian, or you can purchase just like an individual video. So like an individual chapter for something like six or seven dollars. If your child's maybe having trouble with that particular unit or chapter, but they also have videos underneath that are free and they're like links to YouTube and stuff that show what that chapter is talking about. And I wish I had known about that sooner because I think that would have been really helpful for my son. Okay. So how did my son like it? he was a little indifferent about it. He had already done apology as chemistry and he had struggled with it. And so he wanted to do chemistry again to make sure he really understood the concepts. He felt like compared to apology that the, um, the experiments were a little bit more difficult to follow in this book. However, their examples and their explanation of concepts were better done. They were, more applicable than with Apologia. So from a parent's perspective, I prefer Berean Builders simply because it's more affordable. And I feel like because they have those answers very specifically laid out in a very specific marking way, it just makes it easier. I never took chemistry and so I was a little worried about trying to mark this, but it's so clearly laid out the majority of the time I was able to mark it. Um, and if I couldn't, I would just say, hey, to my son, like, come read this answer again, read what they have in the book. How do you think you compare? What did you miss? And he would say, oh yeah, I got this. No, I did miss that. And then it would tell us how much points to give. So that's really clear, which I like. So between the two, we're definitely gonna be hanging on to this course for Next Children instead of the Apologia one. I didn't ask him about how much Christian content there is in it. But from what I've read, I kind of gather it's quite a bit less than Apologia. Not a ton, not, not like there isn't any, but maybe more subtle and that's a better fit for our family. Hopefully this has given you a good look at everything and kind of what the course will look like for both you and your student. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. I always try and answer them. Otherwise though, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.